Six Basic Theorems of Calculus by Raj Ravel Fundamental Theorem of Calculus First published with proof by James Gregory during the 17th century Gottfried Leibniz adapted the theorem to calculus and also introduced modern notation First Fundamental Theorem of Calculus if function f is continuous on the closed interval a to b and capital F is the indefinite integral of function f on a to b, then the integral from a to b of function f is equal to the quotient of capital F of b and capital F of a. This theorem guarantees the existence of antiderivatives. Second fundamental theorem of calculus. If function f is continuous on the closed interval a to b, then the derivative of the antiderivative of function f from a to x equals f of x. This simplifies the computational definite integrals. Extreme Value Theorem Proven by Bernard Boltzano in the 1830s, however his work wasn't published until 1930. Boltzano's proof consisted of showing that a continuous function on a closed interval was bounded, and then showing that the function attained a maximum and minimum value. If function f is continuous on the closed interval a to b, then function f must attain a maximum and a minimum, each at least once, used to prove Rolle's theorem. Intermediate Value Theorem First discovered by Bernard Boltzano in 1817, but Augustine Louis Cauchy provided the proof in 1821. The idea that continuous functions possess that intermediate value property has an earlier origin. Simon Stevine proved the Intermediate Value Theorem got polynomial to which helped propel the concept. If function f is continuous on the closed interval a to b, then as its domain takes values f of a and f of b at each end of the interval, then it also takes any value between f of a and f of b at some point f of c. Mean Value Theorem Special case of this theorem was first described by Parameshwara circa 1400. The theorem in its modern form was later stated by Augustine Louis Cauchy. It's very important in both differential calculus and mathematical analysis. If function f is continuous on the closed interval a to b, where a is less than b, and differentiable on the open interval a to b, then there exists a point c such that f prime of c equal f of b minus f of a over b minus a. This is used in the proof for the fundamental theorem of calculus. Rolle's Theorem Indian mathematician Bhaskar II is credited with the first knowledge of the theorem. The first known formal proof was offered by Michel Rolle in 1691 and used methods of differential calculus. The name Rolle's Theorem was first used by Moritz Wilhelm Drabisch of Germany in 1834. is continuous on the closed interval a to b, differentiable on the open interval a to b, and f of a equals f of b, then there exists at least one c in the open interval a to b such that f prime of c equals zero. This is used to prove mean value theorem and is a basic concept of calculus. <laughs>